This is the seat from where China takes place in debates in the General Assembly Hall. We have these uh, two rows of seats, there's a microphone to take part in the debate, an earpiece so you can listen to the translation of other people speaking, and most importantly the sign here lit up to let everyone else know which delegation is sitting here. Now member states are seated in here uh, by country in alphabetical order. Uh, when the General Assembly elects its president each year, the Secretary General uh, draws lots to see who gets seat number one over in that corner, then everyone else is seated in order after that. This year it's Suriname over in seat number one, so this is where China is seated for this session of the General Assembly. The General Assembly is the main policy-making body of the UN, and all 193 member states are represented here and have an equal vote. The organisation meets regularly between September and December each year, and then gets together as needed at other times to discuss key international issues. Uh, China helps appoint the Secretary General, uh, non-permanent members of the Security Council, and it also helps approve the UN budget. In recent years, there have been big changes to how business is done here, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Each delegation usually has six seats, but since 2020, member states have been limited on how many people they can bring into the hall because of fears of spreading the virus. Meetings have been across three conference rooms to allow for social distancing. Delegates have also been able to uh, attend meetings virtually, and the UN has introduced a system of e-voting, so members can take part in votes remotely. This is the booth overlooking the uh, General Assembly Hall where the Chinese Interpretation Service translates speeches that are happening as part of the debate. Now, because of COVID-19, they have been moved to a different part of the UN headquarters building temporarily. I'm not allowed to film in there while meetings are underway, but we have been given special permission to film them at work. Translators listen to the speeches of delegates on the floor of the General Assembly and translate them into one of the six official UN languages, which are Chinese, English, French, Russian, Spanish and Arabic. If a delegate speaks in an unofficial language, they have to provide an interpreter or a written text of their speech in one of the official languages. Mandarin Chinese has been one of the official languages of the UN since 1946, the year after the UN was founded. And April the 20th of every year is Chinese Language Day at the UN. Now, translation is a really hard job. The interpreters really only have a split second to uh, hear what's being said by the speaker on the General Assembly Hall, to understand it and translate it, repeating it into the microphone so the delegates are able to listen to the speeches in their own language in real time. And the subjects covered here are anything from uh, politics and finance to legal and socio-economic affairs. If you want to do this job, uh, you have to have perfect command of at least one of the UN's official languages and an excellent grasp of at least two of the other official UN languages. Flag raising begins at 8 a.m. prompt every weekday here at the United Nations. There are 196 in total, so that's a flag for the United Nations and for every member state, and so that includes a flag for the People's Republic of China. And we're going to see that being put up now. So we've got some nice weather for the flag raising today. The sun has uh, just come up here in New York. It's not very windy, so we may not see this flag flapping around, but still uh, some nice weather for the flag raising today. Now, these flags here are in alphabetical order, so China sits between Chile and Colombia. Each flag's the same size, which is 123 by 183 centimetres, so that's four feet by six feet. The flags go up every day, except for weekends, uh, and during uh, bad weather they don't put them up either. But they are left up all through the General Assembly's high-level week in September. Now all the member states are represented here, as well as the flags of two non-member states, uh, that's the Holy See and Palestine. China's flag has been flown here since 1971, uh, after all member states of the General Assembly voted in October of that year to recognise the People's Republic of China as the only legitimate representative of China to the United Nations. Now the flags here are really 
One of the most distinctive features of the UN headquarters today, they are one of the first things that are seen by everyone from visiting world leaders to tourists when they come to the site. And the flying of all the flags side by side is really kind of symbolic of the equal status of all of the member states here at the United Nations. This tapestry hangs in the North Delegates Lounge inside the United Nations headquarters in New York. It was gifted to the UN by China in 1974. Now it shows the Great Wall running over mountains and through forests in bright sunshine. And the image is designed to symbolize the prosperity and vitality of the country. And this is a big gift. It's 10 meters by five meters and weighs 280 kilograms. So that's just over 600 pounds. And more than 53 million strands of yarn were used to make it. This lounge is used to host slightly more informal meetings for UN delegates, but also world leaders. So this tapestry has been seen by some of the most powerful people in the world. The art here at the UN has been donated by member states, uh, foundations and individual donors since the 1950s. Each piece is meant to represent the member state that donates it and be relevant to the work of the United Nations. Now, the tapestry is not the only artwork donated by China. This bronze tripod was a gift from China to the UN to mark its 50th anniversary in 1995. And it has been designed to represent tranquility, stability and peace. Sarah Walton, CGTN, New York.